And one of the largest challenges I think that we're facing right now, of course, is understanding the impacts of, of climate change and what we can expect to see over the next you know, decade. Uh, or two. Um, you know, as we've mentioned, everybody focuses on COVID and, and very easy uh, to focus on, on, on things that are going on in the media when this is all coming in the background. Uh, but there, there's a reality. The countries that usually uh, I have experience working in are, 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 are countries where people, you know, there, there are communities of, of, of perhaps a, a little bit more disadvantage. If we're looking at Indonesia and, and you know, places, small island countries in, in the Pacific, the, the impacts of climate change are, are already happening. Um, you know, a place like Bangkok uh, would be mostly underwater uh, within the next 25 years without, uh, without any uh, any any further kind of action by the by the government to to mitigate that. So, um, the climate change is making real impacts, and it's something that scientists and experts uh, understand. Um, but you know, the resonation of, of of the reality doesn't I think doesn't really uh, uh, click with with most of of society um, right now. Um, for between when it comes to climate change, the intergovernmental context. When we're talking about the United Nations or all of the organizations that usually work between countries to to uh, to, to mitigate climate change, it's usually split between two uh, two concepts. One is mitigation, and one is adaptation. Mitigation is reducing emissions from from the supply side uh, to reduce climate change impacts, and includes using clean energy and all, um, and and uh, energy efficiency. Um, and, and working on, on green buildings, which is something that Syed certainly works a lot on. Um, and then there's the adaptation side, which is getting cities and communities to adapt to the impacts of climate change. That's what happens you, you, you know, it's when, when they try to create sponge cities, cities that are able to soak up and, and get rid of flooding, flood water and these types of things. But there are many different things that, that countries can do and cities can do uh, to adapt to climate change. And the frightening reality is that the UN and other climate organizations have pretty much accepted by now that the focus is, has, has moved towards adaptation.